tag on it. They'll wipe the floor with it. They must be making speck on that big boat, that curly bit. So we gotta use our head. Or rather, one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <clears throat> to my peoples and my gods, look alive, look alive. It's your boy, Act Reaching, with another episode of the Jab Jamboree, produced by the mighty, mighty LDBC. And executively produced by the full berserker clan, we in here. We just re Sorry, y'all. Just wanted to come back and refresh the page, make sure everything, you know, was everything. Uh, I actually should have did that before I started it. I got to remember that next time. Uh, appreciate y'all coming in and joining your boy. Uh, let me see. If I can shoot my people some links. Let me see if they... Uh, All right, sorry about that. Let's get started. Yeah, so we watched Devin Haney uh, do his thing. Uh, a massacre. That's what I'm talking about, Devin Haney. Uh, really, truly, and proud of you. Uh, you know what I mean? You did what you needed to do. You know what I mean? Broke, broke the dude's face, put a pothole in his face. You heard? But um, it was a great uh, night of uh, boxing, period. The zone actually put on a fairly decent card, I would say. A uh, couple guys in the beginning didn't know about. Uh, uh, that was the first time I watched uh, Raymond Ford. From Camden, I, I had heard a lot about him, um, you know, when I was sparring out there before. I had heard a lot about him. I always had wanted to get some work with him, man. I didn't realize he fought that small, though. I didn't realize he fought that small. That 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 kind of uh, threw me uh, for a loop. Let me get in the chat. I'm on the bus. All right, champ. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, give me a minute, okay? Okay, straight, it's straight. Uh, Drew, when you you know when you make your way in here, we we will be waiting for you, brother. Yeah, man, but um, great night of boxing. Great night of boxing. Let me uh. That's what's up, though. Um, yeah, great night of boxing. Um, Michael Hunter, um, he 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 really is a small heavyweight, and he's very skilled. But um, I I don't know if if he fights somebody that uh, poses a threat. 
if he could really like uh you know really deal with them I feel you know um I I worry about Michael Hunter cuz I question if uh Michael Hunter will be able to take uh solid shots from a, a A level heavyweight so uh yeah stuff like that that worries me about Michael Hunter but other than that Michael Hunter is very uh light on his feet he's very like he he has a uh, decent. He has very uh, fairly decent agility. Uh, he's about six three. So so uh, Sergio Mora had a good point about that. You know, he's not uh, as big as the uh, average uh, heavyweights uh, we know of today. So. Now, people, people, not gonna give me credit for it, but I swear on everything I love. <laughs> I don't care what nobody says. I was the first person calling him Nomachenko. The fooler will tell you that was my name for him. Actually, I want y'all to go through my videos uh, when we talking about Lomachenko and look at the dates, look at the dates, go to, go, go, go through, if you care to go through my videos. <laughs> yeah, Kurt, now I wanted to holler at you. Uh, if, if you did, I wanted to know if you was feeling the uh, young boy, the uh, young boy from Camden, man. I wanted to get your input. What'd you think about him real quick? You know what I mean? Raymond Ford. You know what I mean? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't realize he was that light, though. 122, man. Damn, how do you make that? Because you're not even a small dude like that. I don't know if y'all seen, I uploaded a video of me on the treadmill. Of course, I couldn't record the whole damn session, but at the end of the video, I show y'all how many calories I lost, and it shows you how long it goes. Um, damn, do I even have it with me right now? I wanted to show y'all something. Matter of fact, Give me, give me a sec, y'all. I want to show y'all something. All right. So, I got this baby right here. I'm going to give y'all one of my strength and conditioning secrets. I got this baby right here. It's called the Polar. Uh, it's a heart monitor. This is very important. This heart monitor right here tells me whether the training that I'm doing is vigorous. It, it, it goes, it, it hooks up to my phone. I got a, I got a nine plus. And it don't even just hook up to my phone either. Which, First off, let me show y'all. You know, that's me, the ageless Anthony Falls. That's my boxing name. And then, hold on, my fault. And then, yeah, that's my main screen, full preserve playing. Y'all already know. Uh, but yeah, like I was telling y'all, that hooks up, that polar device hooks up, you know, if you a Galaxy person, if you know, uh, your Samsung Health app. And then when you go on your Samsung Health app, it, uh, 
both of them trying to get in there so I can show y'all. So y'all can. Um, I guess I gotta go do it. Like it, it records your activity. See, like, uh, see, it shows you how many steps. Uh, shows you how many calories you burn. Matter of fact, you could track yourself. It gives you an overall status. This is me. You know, act and say A C H. Yeah. So if you go to it, it shows you your uh I think what is this? All use this is the all user leaderboard. Now, and I'm not even lying to y'all. I'm gonna take my glasses off so y'all know I'm serious. What does that say on the leaderboard? It says me, the crown is you. It doesn't say top one percent. Oh shit, my fault. Let me go back. It don't say top one percent if you can really see. For my uh for the and this is for all users. This isn't just me and my friends. This is for all the this is for the average person that works. At and it shows you, it shows you the average person that works out out of a hundred percent of people. 41% of people work out. And I'm I'm the top, I'm in the top 1%. That's so so when I so when I tell y'all that I work out, shout out to my brother, the Cali Enigma, that I really work out and I'm a dog. This kind of right here signifies that you could get all my information. Actually, I could never lie to you y'all about how much I worked out because all y'all will have to do to see what I did and what I worked out because I, I type in the exercises so the heart monitor hooks up to the exercises that I showed y'all that polar device right here so I could set it to hold on let me show y'all something else so say I so say I want to use that for my Samsung health app I'll go here right and this is the different exercises. Uh, I go to boxing. And then when you click on that, you click the start button. Up here, you know, when you start it, it usually has the calories and your heart rate. And then you just go from there. And then, you know what I mean? I know somebody like Mac and Trick Nolte will really like, you know what I mean, that information that I just gave out. What's going on, Cali, man? I definitely glad that you came on, bro. You being an Oakland dude and your boy just represented, man. What's going on, Cali? Cali, you there? Here we go. <clears throat> for whatever reason, man, the um the you know the tools to allow me for the audio and video, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't showing up. <laughs> so I couldn't hit I, I couldn't hit. I couldn't click the audio icon because it wasn't there. <laughs> and for whatever reason, it didn't load up. It took forever to load up, so I couldn't respond. I was like, oh, I'll come I think I was getting ready to um, leave out and come back in. Because I didn't know what was going on. But um, yeah, man, Devin Haney put on, man. He put on for, for the city, man. It just I'm just waiting for him to come perform out here, man. Uh, and that's what I'm waiting for. I want, I'm waiting for him to come perform out here. Um, you know, it's Eddie, for Eddie Hearn. Like I said, if you if you listen to any of these live streams, man, uh, Devin Haney from Oakland, man. I mean, from California, man. So uh, you need to get him out here on the West Coast, man. Get him out here. Um, that we want to see him out here. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he's fighting Southern California multiple times, but uh, it's time for him to come fight in the Bay Area, man. And that that's what I'm looking forward to. You know what I'm saying? He's he's come out here. You know what I'm saying? He still comes out here. His family's still out here. You know I what I mean? I got my Death Row shirt on for you, Cali. <laughs> I got my Death Row Yeah, that's Death Row, man. I got, Pac, you. I got Pac you. used to live in Pac used to live in West Oakland, actually, man. Yep. Uh, yeah, Pac used to live in West Oakland, man. So, and then of course Death Row and Hammer ended up getting up in there to another East Oakland kid. So, 
But oh, Ham is from East Oakland. Yeah, Ham is from East Oakland. Oh, okay, okay. Same, just like me, bro. Just okay. East Oakland, man. The East, man. East, East, East Oakland. It changed though, bro. I mean, it used to be uh, predominantly Oakland. Used to be predominantly black, man. It ain't like that no more. Not predominantly. It's not predominantly white, but we're still we're still no most second second populous. Um, we're still second when it comes to the population. There's there's more blacks than everything else, but um, since gentrification has happened, man, it changed Oakland for real. Yeah, that's Oakland everywhere. was the man. only black. Oakland was the only uh, black um, city on the West Coast. It was the only city that was predominantly black, and it was on the West Coast. The only one, um, and and no, it didn't exist nowhere else. We were the only city that was predominantly black. Richmond had a lot of black people too, the, like a suburb of Oakland. I was but, gonna uh, say that that's where my grandma from. Are you talking about Richmond, California? Oh no, I thought you meant. Oh no, nah, I'm thinking of. Sorry. Yeah, uh, that's uh, a Richmond, no, Richmond, California. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm saying Virginia. I'm thinking. Virginia. Nah, bro, I come I on, told bro. You bro. Always, I, I, West Coast. I told you, West I keep Coast. forgetting. I told you, I, I keep forgetting that, man. You gotta forgive me, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. We talking, we talking about Richmond, California. Where um, which McCall used to be at, bro? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm coming kind of about to talk to um, the homie in a minute, a little bit in Judah, uh, Ben Israel, uh, but. Yeah, man, on, on the West Coast, man, we we I, I don't think about Virginia, you no. Know, when I think about Richmond, I think Richmond, California, man. I ain't never been to no Richmond, Virginia, so I don't know. <laughs> I think about Richmond, exactly. California, man. Been, no. Richmond, Richmond, Master P, Master P started rapping out of Richmond, California. So, oh, okay, I never even yeah. knew that. That's a good fact. Yeah, man. But then again, uh, I probably can... was too young to know that. Yeah, man, Gordon. I mean, so when he came out with the Gellers trying to kill me album, you look at him, you'll see him with his Richmond beanie on, man. Uh, Silk the Shocker, they had a Richmond beanie on. Go check out the video, Ghetto Try to Kill Me. That video is filmed in Richmond, man. <laughs> Go check it out. Let, let me get in this chat real quick. Right. Ali. Uh, Omega Rest is Salute Act. And then he, saw, then he said Salute to the Brother Drew. And then he said, uh, and then Battle Rifle came in and said, How's it going, Act? Ain't nothing chilling, brother. Ain't nothing. Right. Ain't hear from you in a while. Um, the brother Drew Titan just fell in here. What's going on, Drew? I'm on 86 in Park right now. I'm frustrated. <laughs> Why are you frustrated? The goddamn the express bus. Oh, I was about to say right. The express <laughs> bus, right? This this that shit don't go all the way to um to 30 <laughs> the 36th Street at a certain hour, and I missed the last bus because I was chopping it up with um boxing and barbecue. He came through. He came up from uh from Baltimore. Okay. You know I, I just left Blue Blood. All right, boxing and barbecue with a name like that. That barbecue better be on point, bro. Well, he he really from Texas, so you know. Oh yeah, yeah, but, that barbecue on point. Yeah, yeah. So I'm giving the benefit of the doubt. He, he said I'm giving the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, Shake it. How was the event, though, champ? How was uh, the air? Oh, How was man. the energy? How was first the of all, first yeah. first of all, first of all, it was packed. It was packed. They came through. They came through. Uh, they showed full support. Um, let me tell you, shout out. You got to shout out Black Fight Fan, man. You got to shout him out, man, because uh, those shout are some Shout out Black seats, Fight man. Fan. Shout out to yeah, Brother man. Black. Those are some great, great, great seats. I'm going to text y'all. I'm going to text y'all. I'm going to text you and Callie uh, the pictures I took. Before I put them up on the gram, I'm doing that for a reason, actually. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to put them up on the gram until uh, uh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. You know, there's a reason why I'm doing that, though. But, uh, yeah. But um, great event. Um, I'm going to work backwards. Uh, Devin, the punch that he hit dual with, I can't even say his last name. Abdulev, whatever the hell his name Abdayev, is. Abdulayev. Better than me, I I spit my gums. Yeah, out that, it is. no, it really is. Abdul is Abdulayev. Um, he um he he cracked them. That, that that we heard that it was like crack. He was like oh, round ended, and I looked over at BBQ and I said, yo, he ain't gonna make it. He ain't gonna make it to. I said around seven. As a matter of fact. I met Devin's family yesterday uh, to pick up those tickets. And I was telling them, I said, I don't think dude's going to make it out seven. There's a guy, I'm going to hold you to that. And he stopped him in five. 
That was a really good punch, man. Devin was in there. He was confident. Um, there was no... He's ready for the moment, man. He's ready for the moment. And, uh, Act, you did call him Nomaschenko. I do remember when you did that. Thank you. I do uh, remember. Oh, no, when I, when I was calling him uh, Nomachenko. 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 I was calling him, I was calling him that for a minute ago. A minute yeah. ago. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah. All, with all that being said, I'm saying I, I appreciate y'all for showing the homie support, man. But like if someone had to put a fun Eddie Hearn ass, bro, you need no, to get no, him no, out of here. No, get him wait, out of here. Hold on. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me yeah. share this story real quick. Let me share this okay. real quick. We came in. We sat down. We had damn good seats, man. I could like like get a run and jump into the ring where we were sitting, right? So we came in and sat down. Q say, yeah, there go Eddie Hearn right there. When I tell you the man was 20 feet in front of me, yo, you know what I almost did, right? You know the Bronx almost came out of me. Yo, you know what I was going to do? Because he had his back turned. You get your he was on his phone. City ass. Dogs. I almost ran up on him and just screamed bomb squad just to scare the shit out of him. And you know my voice is loud. I was going to run up on him and scream bomb squad and make him shit himself, bitch. But I swear to God, I'd have got thrown out of that place, man. I was like, let me let me hold it. I, and I, I stood up, and Q looked at me. He was like, yo, you going to do it? I said, I'm dead ass. Dead ass, I'm going to do it. I ain't do it, though. I ain't do it. I ain't do it. I wanted to, though, but I ain't do it. I ain't do it. Yo, I'm about to raise the fire. You see that? <laughs> nah, you see nah, I'm so, Eddie Herman, I heard Eddie Herman be staying away from people now. I mean, he be trying to avoid certain interviews now that uh, yeah, he didn't went through but, that. But what's unique is um, Catch is out there, man. You're going to see the pictures, man. Um, Jay Rock was there. Um, All right. Chit chatted with him for a second. Yo, I walked up on Big Baby and I was like, yo, my man, I'm tired of walking in Brooklyn and niggas thinking I'm you. That's whack. He just cracked up, man. And we look nothing alike, man. So, you know, not at all. That shit. We he's look nothing alike. He's way bigger than you, man. He's mad big. I'm 6'2. He's like 6'4. And, you know, no disrespect to him, uh, but he he was not in shape, man, from what I saw. Well, he he's the type of brother that when he gains weight, he um ooh, I could do some pull-ups real quick right here. I'm waiting for the bus. Yo, he's the type of person. That um, when he gains weight, he gains weight like from the bottom, like from the hips downward. You know what I mean? So he was up in there. He was wearing all black. Right? He had on a, like a long sweater. You know what I'm saying? And I was looking, you know, no homo, but, you know, I'm like sizing him up. Like, I was like, wow, he's really not in shape. When he's in shape, he's like 320, right? He had to have been. Because he's not sloppy either. You understand what I'm saying? Big Baby tonight had to have been about 360. I'm not even joking, man. Because he's a he's a big field nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's huge. He's huge. I, I'm, I'm going to send y'all a picture that I took. Um, who else? Uh, the hometown kid from Brooklyn, he won. Yeah, and, I never heard of him. But um, yeah. he he had a good, a good, that was a great left hook. Yeah, he um he he was a little nervous. He was a little nervous when he once he got warm. He got buzzed too. People didn't catch it. Um, he got hit on the side of the temple, but uh, he needed that. You know, you know, cats need that to get up. And uh, he got up, man, and uh, he made it happen. He caught the knockout. And um, you know, Zab's always in the house. You know oh, saying? Zab was in the building. Zab was there. You know, chit chatted with him for a hot second. You know what I mean? But overall, the event was beautiful. Um. The, the, uh, What's your the, thoughts on Michael Hunter, bro? What's your thoughts on okay. Michael Hunter, man? I just My, he don't really Michael do it for Hunter, me, bro. He he called out he called out Pavekin. Pavekin kicks his ass. I'm just gonna be very blunt. Yeah, he he, he, he got, got he got, got, got hit too much by that by that by that slug of a he, dude. The dude he fought he, was a tomato can, bro. He, he yeah he um the, well how much did a uh, hunter come in at? I, I missed it. I this didn't, dude was yeah, like, I didn't get to watch the way. He I missed it too, bro. I can't even tell you. Hold yeah, on, y'all. Let me get in this chat real quick. He was way smaller than other dude, man. Uh, way smaller. My boy, uh, uh, Lawrence Williams said, "What's good?" Uh, he said, "I wouldn't be surprised if he fights the Nagataki on November 9th on the 
KSI and Paul Hogan undercard. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a disgrace. He shouldn't be on the, the, nobody on the card, man. Fight. Why is KSI? Oh, they why said that he came in. This is how much he came. Hunter came. And, and it's going to be on pay-per-view. And they put it on pay-per-view. You, you, that's, you a, heard? that's a good thing. That's a good thing, Cali. I'm, I'm, I'm wait, wait. about to let you go. I want to hear your opinion. You said, you said it's, a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing for who? For a Devin Haney. Devin Haney, Devin Haney, uh, Devin Haney gonna um, be on the under. He's gonna be the opening act. Is Yo, how much mic? you weigh at? Uh, Ash, uh, how, much, how much Hunter weigh? Uh, he weighed 221. That's what uh, Lawrence Wood that's said. Rid- that's ridiculous, man. He's gonna get fucked up, man. Yeah, he's gonna get. I'm looking at the dude. Wilder, Wilder stretches that dude in like one or two rounds, bro. Yeah, he, 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 he better gonna stay gonna away from Wilder. Up. He needs to stay away from a lot. He needs to. He called out Povetkin. Povetkin ain't easy food. Not, not, not from what I saw tonight. And if uh, he he was two twenty, he looked soft. He looked soft in the midsection. He looked very soft. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He looked. He looked like he been eating good. He looked he look like, like he need. He like he needs to do a lot of road work, a lot of cardio, and he needs to do a lot of leg raises and sit ups. Man, he looked soft. Two twenty. Two twenty. Nah, nah, nah. That's not. And good, he only man. six three. Nah, that's ridiculous. He shouldn't be looking like that. Shouldn't be looking like that. No, no, no. If he gets in shape, if he gets in supreme shape, he probably won't even be heavyweight, man. He'll probably be like 208. He'll probably have to fight a cruiserweight if he gets in really good shape because he's fooled. He dropped this dude. Dude didn't do anything wrong. Uh, he just got caught in an exchange and his short, his hook was short and he landed first. But he got up and after that, he couldn't really hurt him. And every time he got in, 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 into another exchange late in the fight, I was telling Q, like, yo, he don't need to be there because this guy's like, he looked about 40 pounds heavier than him. I said, he get caught in a good exchange. This is going to change the whole fight. But this guy's not ready for Vivek. And Vivek going to fuck him up, man. I'm, I was not impressed. I was not I ain't impressed. Gonna front. One thing I can say, Vivek can hit a lot harder than that dude. Yep. And I, yeah. think that, and I think that dude buzzed him one time. So Yeah, he did. He did. He did. He did. He did. Battle yeah. rifle. What do you think about uh, Michael Hunter? I ain't get to hear you. Um, I think he's a respectable champion. Like, uh, I mean, wow, champion. He's a champion. Like, champion. I was gonna say, what the fuck? <laughs> I was about to say, what, really? Yeah, the battle rifle been drinking. <laughs> yeah. You twenty one. I'm on my Floyd Mayweather. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know how Floyd Mayweather does his interviews, but um. Basically, I feel like he's a respectable fighter. Is what I meant to say. Uh, he's one of the few fighters to give Usyk like one of his toughest fights, other than Bellew. But um, I, I legitimately think that he has a lot of promise. You know, uh, he was definitely big for a cruiserweight when he first started. So I thought he was going to be a heavyweight. I, I kind of predicted that, and I think he can have a lot of areas to improve. He's fast and he's really slick, but at the, at the same time, I feel like he kind of slugs when he doesn't need to. Uh, but I think he has a lot of room to improve. Though I, I have I have faith in him that he can do something. As far as becoming the champion, uh, I feel like he can become it, but I'm not like overly banking on it. Who 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 is he gonna beat to become champion? Um, I mean, just like just in case, like Ruiz just who, decided, who, like he ain't beating no like, fucking Ruiz. Whoa, 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 no, man. I'm I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying like, that he's gonna. On, bro. I'm not saying he's beating Ruiz. I'm saying like just, okay. So like, so my point is, who fight, can he though. beat? Who that can he beat? Be a good fight, though. I would I'm like saying, to see. I would I'm like saying, to see Ruiz versus. Uh, what, so what? Do, uh, what do you think he does against Wilder? Battle rifle. Who do I think? He said how Michael I think he does against Wilder. Yeah. Oh, he gets destroyed. But I, I'm saying like just since I'm just like if we if everything goes according to plan, like let's say like Ruiz like this decides he beats Anthony Joshua for the second time and then he loses to somebody else. Maybe then can he get a belt? But I'm saying like it can happen. But it's he like, needs a scat. Like, basically, say he needs a, a vacant title to get a belt. Um, he doesn't need a vacant title. He could be. I mean, it's heavyweight. It's, you like going to see another? Uh, <laughs> so, 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 you, so you got him beating Ruiz then? No, no. Ruiz. All right, so we, do you need to stack the title to be scattered then? Yeah, I'm saying like it. Uh, exactly. So basically, vacant title. So the title title got to be scattered basically to be vacant. So basically, you gotta be for a vacant title at that point, man. That's what you're saying. Nah, Ruiz can get beat, is what I'm saying. Like, uh, I feel like stylistic wise, Ruiz is. Uh, I mean, I, you I, can, I, can, I, can, can you do you do you think that this dude could beat Joseph Parker? 
No. Nah. I didn't see nothing. Exactly. Just see- pocket fucks just do that, bro. Okay, so like I'm saying like uh let's just like pre- like let's just pretend like this breeze just doesn't hold on to the belt like for a long time. And I and I don't mean that like, he gets stripped, like it's just that he loses somebody. I'm pretty sure like um uh, what some boy down the line he can become a champion. But like I said, I wasn't banking on it. Yeah, he's gonna get knocked out by Wilder, so I mean it's I mean, unless Wilder be scattered vacate the belts, which is possible. And you know, I, it's probably gonna be a situation where he's gonna get stripped. He can't beat Usyk. Be Usyk, Usyk already beat him. And we don't mm-hmm. have a good fight, but Usyk, Usyk will beat his fucking ass right now. That dude looked like shit to me. I'm just, I'm just not impressed, man, with dude, bro. I'm not, I'm not impressed with side, sidebar. How the hell is Usyk ranked? They said it nice and loud tonight. He's ranked, I think, number one for the WBO. Did I, did I hear that? Yeah, that, the WBO has a rules where if you were a WBO champion in a lower division, you become auto, uh, automatic um, mandatory. That so is the worst one. rule. Yeah. That is the worst rule in the world. But anyway. No, 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 no. What happened to Terrence Crawford? That, Remember Terrence Crawford? I'm, that that, that, I'm not that, that bad at that rule. If you're a fighter that brain, and that you brain was a people former in. champion in another division, I'm not that mad at that. Why not? not. I'm it not that mad people. at that because you was a champion in the last weight division. Yeah, but now he, now you get the who, – who's ranked number one? If Usyk was still at Cruiserweight, who's ranked number one in WBO uh, It would have right been now. Dillian White if he would if he would have got um, stripped. I mean, okay. I mean, because if he didn't want to cheat it, it would have been Dillian White. That's his fault. Dillian White yeah. fucked himself out of that. Yeah. He been, Dillian yeah. White was number one, but Usyk was, was mandatory. Remember, Dillian White was number one, but then Dillian White got removed from the rankings because he bought Pop Dirty. That dude ain't ranked to no, he ain't ranked to nothing right now. He's removed yeah, from the WBO, the WBA, the IBF. You are and the I, I don't know about the IBF, things. but he's removed from the WC. He's not ranked in the WC. Or the WBA or the uh, WBO. He got removed. Yep. Yeah, I don't know about IBF. Yeah. I don't think he's ranked in IBF either. Zero. That's his fault. And that's all his fault, too. That's all his fault. But he's but he's still but, allowed but, to fight. But, he's still allowed to fight. Oh well, I don't I don't like uh, how you doing? I don't like um I don't I really don't like that rule though. I really don't. Are oh, you talking about the automatic? Well, remember Terrence Crawford did it. Yeah, yeah he did. Remember, that's how he, he fought did. Jeff Horn. He took that right off Jeff Horn real quick. He said, you, I mean, I'm going to make you lighter, man, after this fight. How about that? I don't, I don't think well, it's well, a bad well, rule. Well, how long has that rule been in place? How far back has that rule been? I have no idea. Don't make me, don't, don't get me lying. I have no yeah, clue. I, yeah. I, I, I'd like, I really would like to know that. I'm curious. I really would like to know that because you can keep the change, bro. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I really would like to know because it, it sounds like a rule made out of convenience. You know, you know how top rank do. Yeah, it might. It might have been yeah. a rule they changed the rule for. It might have changed the rule top rank. It ain't just top rank. Shit is Frank Warren Bell too in the UK. I yeah. mean, I, I don't Ooh. feel like it's. Hey, do you guys read this? Here, here, here's the um, here's the Ryan Garcia. So I've been treated like shit. I will not continue to let myself get fucked. Tell you, wait, oh, Ryan Garcia. Yo, just said bro, that? bro. First of all. First of all, bro, they don't even trust you to fight this replacement. They said this dude might might fuck around and beat you. Because, you know, the Sparrow dude, I heard that it was all week that he was saying that he might not be able to, uh, uh, I don't know what happened. It was some reason that he might have to pull out of the fight. And then they had this dude that was a replacement that I heard was kind of a real competitor. So they was kind of scared to let... uh. Ryan, you know what I mean? Uh, shoot the heady with him. No, let's keep, let's keep it 100 here. Asa De La Hoya saw some tape of this guy and called the marshals himself. He's like, man, let me oh, save Ryan King Ryan one more time. Asa De La Hoya is a piece <laughs> of crap, but he has protected the hell out of Ryan Garcia, man. Saved him from himself. Um, it's a situation where he can end up getting on his own and end up in a fight that he shouldn't end up in and end up getting knocked out. Uh, he's a knockout waiting to happen, man. Uh, he doesn't tuck his chin. You know what I'm saying? At all. He leaves himself wide open. Uh, his footwork is, is garbage. Um, he, he has a hitch. When he throws a jab, he has a hitch. And it, which, what, the hitch, that hitch allows you to time him. And it also te- it shows that he's telegraphing his jab. Everything. He has, he has a lot of fundamental flaws. Um, he throws wide hooks, which leave himself open. But the worst part is he don't tuck a chin and he don't always close his mouth. 
Something Devin Haney, you gotta close your mouth, brother, too. That's something else you need to do. But Ryan Garcia Devin don't Haney, take the yeah, yeah. close his mouth. Devin Haney, Devin Haney, and I see Raymond Ford did that a little bit too. Yeah. So you know what Ryan Garcia needs need to do? He needs to he needs to shut the fuck up and let Oscar do his job of promoting him and also protecting him at the same time. That's what he <laughs> needs to do. That's what he needs to do. That's exactly what he needs to do. Because he keeps opening up his fucking mouth. He's going to find himself in a ring with Tank or Devin or one of these Russian cats that got above average skill, and he's going to lose. To me, he's like one of them niggas in, like, last place. He no, like, you're talking about Brutal getting brutally knocked out, bro, because that's what's coming for him. I agree. Because they I talk agree. about they didn't want him to fight this dude. Now, his, his dude that was the replacement. They didn't believe in him that much to where they couldn't let him fight the replacement. That's what was uh, messing me up the whole night. Now, is there any video on this dude? Any tape? I don't know if there's any tape. I don't even know who the dude is that was supposed to be replacing the Sparrow dude. Those be the worst ones. But there's they no- said that they said that he's a he's apparently too seasoned. For uh, Ryan Garcia, I have heard that uh, that Ryan Garcia has wanted to go to Floyd in the past. So, just I wouldn't be surprised he ended up at TMT. You fuck around. I think I think Ryan should go to Virgil. I think that he would be. He should. I'm gonna tell you this. I I know people gonna disagree with me here. I think Devin Haney should go to top rank first, and as he they do a really good job with prospects. Make sure you make make sure you sign a good a contract that you can get out of when you go over there. You don't get stuck in some contract that renews. But when it comes to prospects, I think that top rank is the and you know, numero uno, even better better than anyone when it comes to developing prospects. So I think he will he'll go over there, he'll be matched well, and that will allow him to develop. And he can talk all the shit he want, but Bobby, I'm not gonna throw him in there with nobody um, until he until he um, until he works his shit out. But uh, he has a good trainer. So uh, Eric, Eric, I mean, let me see the name Eric. Excuse me. Eddie Reynoso. If I say Eric, Eddie Reynoso is, is a good trainer, man. So and he's already and if you look at his last fight, he did show signs of improvement. So I, 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 he, I think he's heading in the right direction, but he needs to, he needs to humble himself and understand that you are a prospect. You are uh, early, a bit because you still at the beginning stages, bro. You haven't even really advanced. You still crawling. You haven't even started walking yet. So you, you need to understand that. Stay in your lane, man. Stay in your lane before you get destroyed and your career ends yeah. before you start it. You sure do. Um, you can't let a record fool you because he'll fuck around and get in the ring with somebody like, like a record like Emmanuel Augustus. A whole lot of losses, but the guy has way above average skill. And on the right night where he's not paid off to take a dive, he can like look, make you look stupid and fuck up that whole train you want. You understand? So um, he needs to shut the fuck up. Now, as far as going to uh, top rank, you know, I'm I'm biased. But, you know, you might have a point. I'm just trying to figure out what kind of what, what could he sign that could give him an out once Bob Arum starts his bullshit. I, I really don't know. I really don't know. I don't trust nothing coming out of top rank. Nothing. But um, they... You know, this, this kid Ryan, he's marketable, man. He's very marketable. But who knows? I think he needs to let Oscar do his job as it stands right now if he's going to stick around. I don't know what he's talking for. He need to relax. Yeah, like Oscar ain't 40-something. Come on, man. Uh-huh. Oscar don't know the business and shit. Yeah, you know, we clown him, we make jokes and shit, but the guy knows the business, man. I ain't gonna front. Oscar been in that shit for a minute, though. Good nigga minute. was a gold medalist, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yo, listen. Oscar knows the business. He, he has longevity, like it or not. He has longevity. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. And you know how they always say the youngest four division world champion, Adrian Broner. Well, truthfully, it's really Oscar De La Hoya of all time. Oscar did it at 24. Adrian Broner is the youngest African-American 
at 26. Yo, they, 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 they play games with these titles that they give out all the time. Like they said, um, what they say about Canelo? They said he was the youngest um, middleweight champion. That shit wasn't true. The youngest middleweight champion was some white guy. What the fuck was his name? He was fighting on the USA Network uh, back in the day. None of this shit happens, but then again, Canelo gets credit mm-hmm. for being the champion at 168, and it's the fucking fake belt. It's a regular title, I, man. I, I remember something. I'm sorry. He, and he's, he's considered now. He's considered now. Uh, uh, th- what is it, a three division champion now? Okay, now he wasn't. Cha- I don't remember him being t- champion. World. Was he a world champion at 147? Who? I don't think so. I don't think Who, so. Uh, uh, Canelo? Yeah. Nah, he was at 154. Yeah. So yeah. So he's a three division champion. Which is bullshit. He's not. That's one. That's one. That WBA regular belt is not the real belt. The real belt is with Callum Smith. He wouldn't got a fake belt off of Rocky Fielding, and he's getting credit for being a world champion. He said that's not a real title. It's not a real title. It's a fake belt. Yo, you see why we need to throw these belts in the fucking garbage? Sit again. You said why we need to throw these fucking belts in the garbage? Yeah. They're not respected. Things I that told you. Did, I, I, not even respected. I, I, I stated I stated that undisputed is completely completely overrated. Uh, to me, they, you don't even have to have a belt, man. Just see the let's just see the best fights, and we as fans can we know who the best fighters are. We do. Uh, we don't need a sanctioning body to determine it. But you know, there's there's idiots. I actually had to do come on. Well, you know, what's his name? Flypaper. This dude's supposed to be from New York too, man. He over there uh, bragging. This dude just man. This dude loves Eddie Hearn and. And Bob Aram and people like that, man. Ooh, Unfortunately, man. but his, his brother's from uh, supposed to be from Harlem, so it's uh, sh- shameful, bro. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> you seen it? You seen the fly paper, man? I don't know if you guys never seen the dude fly paper being blue blood uh, uh, live stream stuff too. Okay, but this dude, yeah, this dude, I said, man, he's shame in Harlem, bro. <laughs> but um, yeah, <laughs> this dude, Andy, he said, it's no, I'm sorry, he's not from Harlem, he's from the Bronx. I apologize for that. He's not, he's not running from the Bronx. Ooh. I'm sorry about that flypaper. My bad. I'm sorry. He's from the Bronx. Flypaper from the Bronx? Yeah, flypaper from the Bronx. Man, yeah, he's been Blue Blood live stream, man. He's a moderator on Blue Blood's channel. That dude is nah. an absolute. Yeah, that dude a clown. <laughs> but anyways, oh, though, uh, he well, said that. Where the Bronx he from? He from Gramercy Park? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm playing, Drew. Hey, Drew, you got to set that dude straight, bro. <laughs> yeah, but, um, man. Hey yeah. man, hey bro, I, I got a worse one to you, bro. We got um which of McCullough this um from over here in Oakland, bro. Which is McCullough from um from what's his name again? Radio Raccoon. Uh, oh, Radio Raccoon. Bro, so. Yeah, that I'm I'm outdoing you. <laughs> I'm saying, bro, yeah. Radio Raccoon, bro. From out here. So <laughs> yeah, and I was like, bro. And and he grew up a black panther. <laughs> He grew up with Black Panther. Yeah, his family is Muslim. Yeah, and he got Black Panther. Yeah, that dude, that dude, that dude is disgusting, bro. I said, bro, you should be ashamed of yourself being the way you are. You really should be better. Like, he can, he just can't. <laughs> uh, you know, what I'm saying it's, it's it's really it's really pathetic, man. When I start thinking about it, but um, but this is but what I'm saying though. If we, what I'm saying with the fly paper though. Yeah, this this dude thing, man. See, all the fathers need belts, man. What you saying is ridiculous. You know, saying so they need it for their legacy. I said, no, we fans. You said, no, the fans don't the target the legacy. The, the you know the sanction by so so um the non black dudes decide, decide the legacy, not not just fans in general. Huh? You know, fans can decide who's popular. You know what I mean? Because Arthur Gaddy, who shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame, no disrespect to him. <laughs> Irish Mickey Ward is in the Hall of Fame. He well, should not be in the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shout out to the Shakita yeah, Dow. Yeah, I, I ain't even realized you was in, man. I, what you doing but, up? Hey, this do you, you you guys do know that those two are in the Hall of Fame, right? Yeah, we know. It was it was more yeah, like a courtesy but, thing. Exactly. Like. Daddy got in there, but Mickey Ward, Irish Mickey Ward, really? Him? It, it's it was, like, it, it was it, garbage. It, it, it's like you might as well put Manuel Augustus in there since he bit <laughs> this is something like that. Like uh you put on a lot of great fights, but you I mean the resume doesn't add up. I don't, man, if them dudes are in, he deserved to be in. I, I think Donald Curry just got in, like, what, last year? After, like, yeah, all he should have so, got in first so, ballot, man. You start oh, thinking about they they just allow they just allow two um two happy mill fighters in. I mean, them dudes are trash, man. I'm not trying to just be like I said, um, it sucks that Artori Gaddy died, but he wasn't a good fighter. 
He was a yeah. mediocre fighter, man. <laughs> Yo, let me say this about Nick, the punching Nick, bag. Niggas, niggas like you to get punched in your head. Mm-hmm. Yo, let me tell you something. Let me, let me say this about Gaddy. And I'm going to say this about a lot of fighters. Just because you're celebrated, that doesn't mean you're good. Gaddy was celebrated right. every time he went to Atlantic City. The Italians came out to support him. The Italians came out to support yep, him. Yeah, because he's, he's Italian. He's, he's yeah, originally he's from Italian. Italy. Then he moved to Canada. Remember right. that. He's born in Italy. Born then he moved, moved to Canada. Canada. Moved to Canada. And then moved to Jersey. He yep. committed, committed suicide by choking himself. Yeah, go figure that shit. Yep. But anyway, anyway, um, they loved him, but he was getting his ass whooped. And like, for instance, he fought Carlos Tata Boulder, man. Well, I don't even like saying that fuck nigga's name, but anyway. Yep. He got his ass kicked, and they loved it, man. They, they loved that guy, man. They, they loved them some Gaddy, man. But uh, Gaddy was an ass whooping waiting to happen, and, and eventually happened. Hey, you know, and you know the Italians. Um, there were a lot of Italians thought that uh, I told Gaddy was gonna be Floyd. I was like, are these people serious? Oh man, they were dead serious. Yeah, yeah, oh man, they were dead serious. Was lose. <laughs> oh yeah. man, that shit. That was target practice, man. <laughs> that was target practice. Man. That was target practice. Man. You couldn't. You couldn't. Uh, you. It was like throwing rocks in the ocean. He was there for every every hit. That was like, I think. Floyd versus Gaddy was like the one of the worst ass whoopings I've seen. Hey, so while. basically, you watch you watch Floyd commit a crime in the ring. That's what you watch. Yeah, <laughs> I was bum raped. What, what you say? Were you were you caught at a, um, a felony? <laughs> Did you guys oh, ever was... see uh, Arturo Gaddy versus Ivan Robinson? Yes. Yeah, I, did. I think that, he, I think he landed like over eight hundred. Like, okay, maybe that's what we exaggerate. Maybe like over six hundred punches on his dude. How the hell? <laughs> how, how the hell did? I'm wondering how, you know what? I'll just go out and say it. If Gaddy was still alive right now, I think he'd be like like having slurred speech because that yeah, guy. Yeah, I, I agree. Guys, I agree. He would have a speech I, impediment. He would. I've never seen a guy take shots like that in the head. I, I mean, there's some guys that are just really, really uh, have a weird wiring in their head where they just don't take a lot of brain damage, like Marvin Hagler and like Evander Holyfield, which is a crap ton of damage. And even That's a good like, point. That's a good like point. George Foreman. George Foreman, I even punched drunk all the punishment he took at sure. a later part of his career. So, have you ever seen anything like Gaddy? Anything like that? I've never seen nothing like that. that is, that's that's retarded. No, I have. I, I saw uh, Ted Cheeseman who uh, fights in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> he blocked his face. You stop and man, he, he defends with his face, you man. Stop playing. You and that man got the best face break. defense I've ever seen in my life. Cali, Cali, I know you're an enigma, but it's an enigma to me. Uh, yeah, that dude, that dude had to. Man, I'll tell you, you couldn't miss his face. You can't miss his face. How, but how is he able to fight? Well, Bro, he world. defends with his face. That's what he does, man. He said, "Just if, if I if I keep if I keep blocking punches with my face, you can't hit me in the body." So <laughs> that, that's, that's not even funny, bro. If you got like a hundred and something losses, the Department of Health. He only has one body. loss. He only has one loss, but oh, I'm thinking. I mean, of, you know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about that other. You ho- ho- no, hold on. Check this out, Act. So this dude, before he lost to some um, British journeyman. Um, he said he was gonna knock out Jared Hurd. I'm like, man, Jared Hurd will make nah, work I with that this dude, dude bro. About this now. dude is. Yeah, I, said, I, I watched that. this dude fight. I said, oh, who is this dude talking all this shit? Because I heard him on the boxing voice. No. Right, he was getting interviewed on the boxing voice. Then I went and watched him. I said, this dude is awful. This dude's fucking horrible. Yo, yo I said to J Rock. I said to J Rock tonight, man. I said J Rock. I said, yo, what happened, man? I heard he worked that smoke. You know what he said to me? What? He looked at me. He said, yo, apparently not. You know, um, he said he shrugged his shoulders. He said needles. I said, what'd you say? But he walked off with his shorty. I heard him, B. He said, I don't know, man. Needles. I heard him. I heard him. Oh, oh he said he was him. juicing. Juicing. I heard him. He said he was juicing. Like he shrugged his shoulders. You know, body language. He was like, I don't know, man. Needles. Bro, I, I was like, telling niggas that. That's another thing I was telling You said, but body said, said, so basically he was taking shit, so that's why he was able to absorb all bro, those shots. Bro, 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 y'all don't remember that post fight video that the bread man did when the bread man said, Yo, y'all got to give credit to this kid. He said, y'all got to give credit to J-Rock. J-Rock divided three months straight, you know what I mean, right away. He said, when you clean, you don't got to pick a certain date to start and stuff like that. So yeah. that automatically made me assume that he was talking about Jared Hurd. Yo, first of all, Jared Hurd, his, his fucking head is 160 pounds, man. He has a I massive head. Wondered, 
I always wondered. I said, yo, how is this guy making 154 pounds? That's impossible. You look at this goddamn frame. I'll say, there's no uh, way. I said that too. I was saying yeah. that too. There's right. no he way. Has a heavy weight frame. He has a heavyweight frame. Yeah, but you know what? He's that guy. When his career is over and he's just fighting for those low paychecks, like pulling a Jeff Lacey, because that, that's where it's going. That's where it's going. Um, I believe I believe that um, he'll be walking around that cruiser, but he's an, if he's having problems with guys like J-Rock, not, not to say that J-Rock ain't shit or nothing like that. No, but he's going to get knocked out, man. Um, um, he's going to get fucked up. He, he was thinking... He was losing the Laura fight until he dropped Laura. Laura just well, ran out I of told gas. You, I told you, I had, I, to, I always told people, I said, Ma, I said, if he fight Ma, he gonna get stretched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that's, told the same thing about Charles, Jamel, and Mel too, and Jamel Charles too. I thought Jamel, probably one of them, he going, he getting, he going to sleep, man. So, yeah, that guy. I actually, they, they, actually they, has uh, her winning that fight. Man, you tripping? But, oh, you yeah, tripping, bro? You, bro, based I, on blocking with his face. I mean, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I mean, he he did get beat up against. Well, Jaylock, you you just saw you just saw that. Obviously, he don't take punches well. Uh, all that punch. Every time you get hit in your face, your punch resistance decreases. Jamel I mean, Charles is a bigger. Hold on, you want, let me say this. Jamel Charles is a bigger puncher. Because I said Styles make fights stylistically. I always thought, even with the loss to Tony Harrison, I said I still got Jamel Charles right after the fight. Immediately after the fight, still on my channel. I said I still got Jamel Charles via knockout uh, over Jared Hurd. Uh, I just I just think it's a bad fight, man. Dude block with his face, man. I mean, it's just he gonna ca- catch right hands all night. He gonna be able to sit down on that shit, bro. He gonna walk right into it and he gonna absorb all the power. I just I don't know how you can't see that. <laughs> I don't know what do, yeah, what do you see. I don't know. I, I don't. I, yeah, I, well, how how do you think he he beat uh Charlo? I'm just Salute curious. to uh boxing conversation with Reggie Owens. Go ahead, guys. How do you think he beats Charlo? Like, how do you think that fight will play out? Like, like, I, 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 just, I don't uh, see it. I mean, uh, even even then, uh, when he uh got beat, I mean, I mean, before that time, it was looking like Jared Hurd was like looking like the guy at that time, and uh, I just think Jamel just a little too timid. I thought he was gonna wear him down with punches. I didn't think he was gonna knock him out. Jamel has a pretty decent chin. I mean, he could take a punch, but I thought like he was just gonna over like overwhelm him with like a lot of. Combinations or whatnot. I think Jamel just really tends to like. Uh, he tends to do. He kind. Of, he kind of tends to do less effective as the fight goes on, and I've seen that multiple times. So I thought Jamel was gonna not uh, put on as much work as Jared Hurd was. But Jared Hurd gets stronger as the fight goes on. So. Oh wow! He didn't, he, he didn't get strong as the fight went on with J. Rock. Nah. Cause nah, he, had, nah. he he didn't had him he didn't he didn't had him he ain't stick needles in his body like a I mean, doctor. I mean, you see, because La- Laura, his... Laura can't crack. Yep, he can't that's crack why he walked through Laura, man. Uh, yeah, right. Laura that, heard him a couple times, but he still. Nah, I was gonna forward. say that because he admitted that Laura had power. Yep. And but but like I said, bro, did you notice? I never seen Jared her tired, right? <laughs> this fight. When he fought J Rock, I see him gas like breathe hard. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all can answer me after I get done saying this last thing. But I'm gonna be honest with you. It's looking like niggas had needles in their body and they ain't a voodoo doctor. That's all I gotta say. Nah, you ain't you ain't wrong, baby. You ain't wrong. I don't I don't like to point the finger because I don't know for sure, but I find it eerily strange. Now all of a sudden, I mean, listen. It's, it, in the street, when someone had hit me, I don't give a fuck. I don't care how long. It could be a year or two down the road. When I see you, I want that hit back. I want that receipt. So you add money to the situation plus a belt? You don't want that win back? You can't try and make 154 again or, or reach out to the camp and say, look, here's the deal. Could we meet at 156 or something like that? I'm having a problem making the weight. But I want an opportunity to get this belt back. You can't do nothing like that. You don't want that back. <clears throat> I mean, come nah, on, man. man. I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna tell you one thing. I I didn't even think about the steroid. You know what I was thinking about? Which I thought that she, that I thought Anthony Josh should have did, did the same thing. I was just thinking that Jared Heard, uh, he got he had put, got sent in his mind because right after the fight, I said he shouldn't fight 
J Rock next. He should actually go for hold on a second. He should just actually go for skill. He should actually try to um, work on his uh, on his on his uh, skills first. I think he should actually go back to the gym, take a year off, and just work on his skills, work on his craft, and then go for it. That's that was my mindset. I thought he was. I thought he was just being smart. Something Anthony Joshua should have did. Um, allow somebody to break you, know you down. What, we'll get a new turn. Let someone break you down. Go ahead. You know. You know what though, though. You know what though, Kelly. I think. Um, I think he set his ways. I think this is who he is. I think this is who he is, and um, there's no change in that. He's a dog. He likes to fight on the inside, but um, we all know. Like I remember a long time ago, I put up a picture of him side by side with Margarito. And I just said, yo, the black people got one now. You know, this guy's Margarito in a, in, in a sense, man. I mean, he thinks it's insulting when you don't hit him in the face. And, it, and it's only a matter of time. Remember, you remember when Margarito was like the Ivan Drago or the welterweight division? And when he finally, they, they put him in a ring with Shane Mosley. And uh, that was supposed to be Shane Mosley's death sentence, if you remember that. And what happened? Mosley whooped his ass like he stole from him. Beat the shit out of him. And you know yeah. what? Though? I, I I knew I knew like man. I told you guys uh, when I watched the um I was at the um Wilder fight when he fought Jason Wellborn. I said this dude is preparing to try to change his style. He knows he had to change the style for a Charlo, which is why I was trying to I was trying to tell Battle Rifle back then. I said, dude, ch- trying to change the style. Look at him working on slipping shots and shit. Dude, he wasn't doing that. He was just walking through shit. So all of a sudden yeah. now he's over there trying to slip shots. Fighting off the back foot, which he did when he first came in. That's how he was fighting. He changed his style. He said, "Man, I can't outbox these dudes." So he nope. decided to could become a come forth fighter and take a lot of abuse and dish out a lot of abuse and he just felt like he can win with will. But he showed you that he didn't believe that he could beat Charlo. He felt like he had to outbox Charlo. Well, that's why he was working on his defense. I mean, he you wouldn't do that if he didn't if he felt like he could just walk through Charlo. He never believed that. And I want yep. everybody to go back and look at what he was walking on and doing it, working on doing the Jason Wellborn fight, which he said he was working on stuff during the Jason Wellborn fight. For real, this was this was the now, the co-main event to to the Wilder uh, Fury. Now you're right; it, it was safe for him to work on Wellborn because he wasn't really a threat. But um, he, he kind of let the cat out the bag, but and, and I still didn't see. I know exactly what you're talking about, Cali. I still didn't see him that that translating against Charlo. But you know, it's just one of those things where. You know, um, oh, hell no, I wasn't gonna translate because yeah. that's something you got to work on for years, man. You ain't gonna work on that in a few months if you nah. hadn't really been working on it. That's something that takes years to develop that kind of skill, man. Yo, fellas, my, my fucking phone is dying. I'm on four percent. All right, oh, bro. Get off this All right, shit. Bro. All right, yo, um, Thanks I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send, I'm, I'm gonna send you and Cali the um, the photos I took. I'm gonna send those in a little while. All right, man. All right. Oh, you said, like strong, I'm telling you, bro, I got to get out to New York, man, to go see all my homies out there, man. Hey, man, yeah, come out here. Hit me up, baby. Facts, up. facts, facts. Yo, this shit I'm, about to I'm die, gonna take, yo. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm so, going to take you on 17th to Patsy's. Gonna yeah, man, say, yeah, me, you, me, Ack, famous, blue blood, man. We all got to hook up, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm going to holler at y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all. All right, champ. For sure. Later. Yeah, Ack, you need to put that together any, anyway with you famous, blue blood. And Drew Titan, bro. This and then and, and it's weapons. hard to get in contact with, with famous man. I want to do it with everybody, but it's hard. Oh, famous be busy famous though, man. I spoke busy, to famous man. today. I spoke to famous today, man. Um, he actually um was met with Team Haney there after he actually met. He actually uh took a picture with Mike McCallum, actually, uh, today. Mm. Wow. So yeah, yeah. So famous man, famous is busy, man. He's working on a lot of stuff, but. Um, yeah, he, he, he a good dude, man. Like I said, I'm going a, I'm to a get out there. I know. I, I know. I, 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 hopefully I could, uh, you know what I mean, get in contact with him one day. No, you don't. He said, no, no you don't. <laughs> Nigga, anybody from New York, I want to get in contact with, man. Anybody from New York is my business. See, Battle, if you was from New York, I'd have been I'd have been hollered at you. You'd have had to check in, though. Battle right. He from Florida though, man. He not. He not I know really, that. Man. I know that. That's definitely why he got a check in. Cause I got family in Florida. Really? Which part? <laughs> I got family in Tampa. I got um. Uh, I got family in Miami, of course, and I forgot where my cousin lived. I think St. Pete or something like that. I don't know. Somewhere over there. Mm-hmm. Not good with Florida, like. Mm-hmm. 
But I go far. I love the Florida women, though. There's this one chick that's a dancer, not a stripper dancer, that I know, like, <laughs> a, like a backup dancer, like, you know, like, for like, you know, like uh, musicians and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Shit. Come and visit, bro. I ain't go far. I can't now. Nah, I can't go out there. I'm gonna have another baby mom, so I'm good. <laughs> I'm gonna be alright. I'm alright. Uh, let me see what we got going in the chat. Uh, he said, "I think." Uh, uh, boxing conversation with Reggie Owens said, "I think he gassed against uh J Rock because J Rock stood ground with him and and thumped." Uh, that yeah, but uh, I still, uh, Laura stood his ground and thumped with him a few times. Actually, even Austin Trout up until the sixth round. Like I said, needles all in the body, but he ain't a voodoo doctor. Okay, that's look like what was happening. What's up, Mike Hennigan? He said Haney beat the brakes off of that dude. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that dude name. How you say it, Cali? Oh, Cali must have stepped away. Um, yeah, man. Okay, oh, shit. Damn, Drew. Drew sent me all the damn photos. Yeah, he sent. Oh, that's the dude with the kid that just won. Oh, that's him in blue. Him is Zab. Oh, he did take, he got a picture with uh, Big Baby. Oh, yeah, he got the picture with, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, that's what's up. Yo, man, you got to stop uh, hopping in and out, man. What's up with that Florida internet, my nigga? <laughs> it, it's not the internet. It's just I'm getting used to it. Like, what, uh, what is getting used to it? You dropping in and out? Nah, it's it's not that I'm it's not that I'm dropping in and out. It's just that I'm accidentally like leaving because like I, I I never like got on the stream. I guess it's called Streamyard now. Yeah. And Hangouts, you used to can like. Uh, pull up other apps on your phone while you're oh, doing yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, You can't do that with this, champ. You yeah, you can't, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to be committed with this one. You know what I'm saying? Can't be all over the place. So, like, you know, I ain't going to be on too much longer. You know what I mean? Just, just, mm -hmm. just bear with me. I'm going to just bring up one more topic, and we're going to get up out of here. I, I want to talk to Canelo and Cobra. Mm -hmm. About Canelo oh. and Cobra. We're going to end it on that. I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, Canelo, come up. let's talk about it real quick. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got Canelo winning, man. I think it's because Kovalev's saying. too old. Ko Kovalev's just too old. Kovalev got broken down to the body in one round. One round. That's, like that's a problem to me. I like yes, how dramatic Callie says it. Callie sounds like somebody that should do the audio readings. He said in one round. You talking about one round. the yard fight? <laughs> yeah, in the yard fight, one it took one round for him to get broken down in the body. That's disgusting. That tells you, like I said, that he doesn't work out his core. He doesn't take, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't work out his core. And he still drinks and smokes. And so, and like and so he because he drinks and smokes, he's an old 35. Um he, he's an old 35. They say he smokes? Yes, he drinks and smokes. I thought he only um drinks. No, he drinks and smokes. Because because of that, he's an old 35. He's older than that's why why do you think he looks so old in the face? Yeah, he do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? He drinks medicine. That's just that's a problem. You don't look like he was in the amateurs with Bibble and Ben Beterbiev and them niggas. You don't look right. like him. Right. That's it. Yeah, he just that's just he a mess, Shit, man. I'm even Triple G don't look that old like that. No, he don't. But but triple triple G from what I've been told, triple G don't drink or anything like that. So. Nah, I don't think he nah he don't. I heard he just he just put on weight, if anything. He put on weight Sounds when his wife was pregnant that time. So now that's that's that happens. I've seen that ha that happen with him too. That dude tend to eat with the wife. I, like well, that. I, I, I took certain things from Triple G. Certain yeah. things that I seen in his training. 
yeah. with the uh, resistance bands. Right. I ain't going for. I took. I took certain exercises that he do. I, yeah, I, I would never that. compare Triple G to Kovalev. Kovalev is a guy who has talent, but but just don't give a shit. He's he he believes that his power can always bail him out, no matter if he trains hard or not. And that's been his fuck. That's been his. That's been his downfall. It was always going to catch up to him, and it's going to catch up to him in this fight with a much younger, faster fighter. I'm not saying that Canelo has a great four. He doesn't. But Canelo, with his head movement and upper body movement. And his ability to I think, work I think, inside I, on getting. I think that his ability. I think that he um, knows uh, his punch placements when it comes to body shots and stuff like that. I just think that that's gonna like help him out. Like he's gonna know when uh, to throw the uh, punches and 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 the right time and things like that. So I just think that he he's probably gonna stop Kovalev. Uh, Similar to what Andre. He's going to stop him to the body. He's not going to stop him yeah. to the head. I don't think yeah, he's going to hit hard enough. To, but I was thinking it's going to be a, a, a UD with Canelo for either a majority decision. Now, I, I got I get, can, Kovalev is a he's, his He can't. He has no punch resistance to the body at all. Zero. I mean, yeah, <laughs> but I, I don't think he's just going to be moving up so quickly and just knocking people out like Kovalev. No, I mean. I, I'm, I'm not talking about. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he can hurt him to the head. I don't. I don't think he can hurt. I don't think he can hurt Kovalev to the head. His his weakness is the midsection. He has no resistance there at all. Zero. It's, it's going to be a Rocky Field and stoppage. <laughs> yep, that's the way I got it. A Rocky Field and type stoppage to the body. No, he he's not going to be. He going to going to hit him in the head. He's going to walk right through that shit. I'm talking about Kovalev. Come on, you can't punch. <laughs> Canelo going to learn real quick. Canelo not going to be stupid. Canelo has seen the recipe to beat Kovalev. That dude is not going to not going to be dumb. He's not gonna head. He's gonna have to punch in the head to try to keep him honest. Hopefully, he can have enough p- 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 power behind it to get Kovalev's respect. I don't see that happening. I think Kovalev gonna walk through his shit. Um, but um, you know, he don't have. He didn't have. He don't have too much power at one sixty. So I don't see it happening. To buy. Co- but Canelo does, and he knows how to punch places well to the body. So that's what. That's why I got him stopping there too. And then, like I said, you and you add in the fact that Kovalev has no punch resistance to the body. It's a it's a double whammy, bro. That's why I keep trying to tell people I said body. I'm not saying I don't see no headshot, bro. I don't see no headshot knockout for Canelo, man. I, that would be stunning, actually. But Kovalev, like I said, Kovalev is his own worst enemy. I agree with you with that. I'll be shocked yeah. if he stopped him to the head too. And, and even if he did shot and stop him to the head, it's gonna be because the body set yep. it up. Yep. So Canelo, the worst thing for I can say there's worst thing that can happen for Canelo is for his ass. To not have landed that many body shots, and for him to get to like the ninth, eighth and ninth round, then I got Kovalev. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna start rolling with Kovalev to, for knockout. <laughs> if it gets to the ninth round and Kovalev hasn't taken a lot of damage to the body, and Kovalev is still boxing and he's staying behind that jab, and Canelo starting to suck wind, I think Canelo gonna get stopped. Why but if Canelo, but if, 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 if Canelo can, can get stopped because they're like people said. Well, Canelo got. I saw. I heard that today in my life. From so Canelo got a good chin. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Well, what is how his chin has been at a lower level? If Kovalev lands on him, he going to sleep. Yeah, especially if Kovalev <laughs> hit him in the right way, is yep. something gonna happen to him? Shit, Kovalev don't. I don't even think Kovalev got a left land flush to really hurt him. I don't. Kovalev got serious power. Not 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 no mediocre power. He got serious power. So he, you can't. He's not the kind of guy that you want landing on you at all. Not even grazing. Um, for especially someone like Canelo. Can, Canelo, I don't give a damn how good his chin is. Canelo, what Canelo does, you know, if you really look, Canelo don't take too many flush shots. He doesn't. He rolls most of those shots, and that's why he's not really. That's why. That's why. So we, we, he has a good chin, but we don't really know how good his chin is because he don't sit there for him to take monster shots, like. How would he? How would he? We don't. I really haven't seen him taking too many monster shots from Triple G. If you look at most of those shots, have been rolled. He rolls. He rolls ninety so ninety plus percent of those shots by Triple G. If could he really stand up to, you know, four, five, six uh, the punches from Triple G to the head with feet and rollers punches? I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. But Kovalev, Kovalev don't have to do anything like that. Kovalev only needs to land one, one. Even if somebody like Canelo. He only needs one shot. That dude got serious power, serious power. So he, Canelo has to be very aware. But Canelo seen enough where he thinks that uh, he's going to be able to see every punch of uh, Kovalev's coming, just like Yard did. 
if he don't gas out too early. Um, if he can just take advantage of that body, he'll 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 stop him. So that battle rifle. Uh, yeah, I, I pretty much agree. Um, I, I think I would, I think I have put uh set the match. Uh, I can't remember what they said the fight uh weight was that. Uh, uh somebody did a video on it. I can you remember. said that fight. You said which fight? Which fight you talking about? Canelo and uh, um, Kovalev. Oh, Kovalev, it's, it's got to be at one seventy five. That's what um WL said. It has to be at one seventy five. No catch weight. They put that okay. today. So we'll see. We'll see if there's a rehydration clause. Um, if you're Kovalev, no rehydration clause. <laughs> let's, see if, let's see how Canelo's. That's what, I want to see if Kovalev got the balls to stand like, dude, you going to beat me? Beat me? Beat me with no rehydration clause. See if Canelo still wants to fight. Canelo would probably be like, but if Kovalev wants the money, so he probably would do it because he'd be a, he a fool because he'd be struggling to make weight. He'd be a fool to do that. Let me get in this chat real quick. He said, uh, Mike Hennigan said, Kovalev got a soft body. Canelo will punish him with uh, body shots. He said, fast act. He said, that's right, Cali. Uh, Kovalev is trying to fight from a distance. And then he said, 175, Mike Hennigan. Go ahead. Go ahead, Cali. And, uh, battle rifle. Yeah, that's, I, but I want to I wanna see how Canelo would deal with uh, Kovalev without um... – Weight draining. That's why. That's what I want to know because the rehydration clause uh, hurts too. You want he wants he needs to be able to rehydrate back up to a normal weight, especially the weight like that. Hey, that, uh, dang, that's crazy. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was about to say, especially what you just told me, basically, like you know, I be mean, with the drinking and, and all of that. He definitely gonna have to rehydrate healthy because when you drink and smoke and stuff, you gotta rehydrate healthy. Yeah, he needs to be at a rat. So I want to know how, because that's gonna be interesting, man. It's it's an interesting fight. It's a fight that really could go either way. It all depends. Um, uh, Canelo gets um, Canelo gasses out and loses focus for a minute. Canelo's pretty smart and not losing focus and getting caught with you know really too many big shots. Uh, then Jacobs was much faster than Canelo and Kovalev, so I don't know if Kovalev would be able to catch um Canelo, but Can but Kovalev throws straighter punches, so he may be able to do it. Uh, Kovalev's a, just a better boxer than um, Danny Jacobs, man, period, anyway. So, um, that's just a oh, fact. Oh, how'd you feel about them talking about Danny Jacobs versus Callum Smith? I, mean, I got I got, I got, got Callum Smith, man. By knockout. <laughs> really? Yep. I don't know. That fight's kind of even to me, man. Nah, that's, I, I mean, like Callum Smith Callum by Smith knockout, is bro. Bigger. I like, I like, I like, I like Callum Smith jab. Callum Smith throws straighter punches. I ain't go for it. Danny would... Jacobs throws too many looping shots. I slightly do maybe like <laughs> maybe would lean, and not just that too. You're talking about a huge uh, height advantage and, and, and the reach advantage in massive in a massive direction too. Remember, and which one? Uh, and which one? Colin Callis, maybe like six three. Yeah, and Danny Jacobs like and Danny Jacobs five eleven man. I think he's taller than that. Tyler. No, he's not. He's really not. He's 5'11", man. No joke. Really? Really. I thought he was like six foot. No. No, 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 no. 5'11", <laughs> man. Danny Jacobs, 5'11". It's a, it's a, it's a pretty, good, pretty big height of it. I like, I like, I like, I like Callum Smith, man. I just do. I think Danny Jacobs. Danny Jacobs is clearly the better athlete, but Danny Jacobs is just not a smart fighter to me, man. Just not. Yeah, he's 5'11 and a half, man. He got a 73 inch reach. Let's look at Callum Smith. Let's see what his uh, let's see what his reach is. And let's see, let's see if it's a huge gap. If it ain't a huge gap, then it may change things the way I feel, potentially. If he ain't got no huge, he should have a pretty good uh, arm reach, man. 70 inch reach, man. 78 inch reach. Yeah, it's 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 that's significant, bro. It's a six inch reach advantage on behalf of Callum Smith, who has a solid, solid jab when he wants to. If he if he stays behind his jab, and he's gonna beat Danny Jacobs' ass, man. Just telling you, just listen to me when I'm telling you, Danny Jacobs throws too many looping punches, bro. He's faster, better athlete than Callum Smith. But if Callum Smith uses a jab, he'll beat Danny Jacobs. They'll knock him out. Danny Jacobs can be slick and shit like that, but like I said, he's just not a smart fighter, man. I just I don't think he wins, bro. I just don't. 
I don't. I'm not. I don't. I'm not a, too high on Dan Jacobs though. Anyway, not just me. I'm not. Never have been. I don't. I don't understand what's the, the big deal. Triple G with life death, and I'm not that big on Triple G either. <laughs> so, <laughs> but Danny Jacobs just is just okay to me. Uh, I think Callum Smith beats his ass. Just me. Did he move up to 168? I'm kind of late for the party. And it's gonna be at 168. That fight. I'm saying Danny Jacobs moved up already. Or? Yeah, he moved up. Yeah. I mean, he has a lot of potential, but he just doesn't fight smart at all. But, but how about that power? What, I mean, what, what kind of power do you think he's going? What kind of power do you think he'll have at at one sixty eight? That's the question. Um, um Reggie right. always said he wanted to see Canelo's reaction of being hit by uh, a heavier Kovalev. Canelo gonna roll them shots, man. I'm telling you, you're not gonna take the brunt of the power. He's not. He's just too smart. People keep people. People really got to go back and watch Canelo fight. Nah, you're right though. Me. He is good at taking the momentum and rolling uh, the punches with his upper torso body. Movement. Yeah, got that Roberto yeah, Duran the power off the shots, I try to tell people, he take. But even Roberto Duran didn't even move like that, like that. Mm. I say more like uh, a James Tony, but not. Minus the shoulder roll, right? Yeah, that's why I said I, I want to see it. I want to see it, man. Got to say, Canelo will know it because was Andre Ward was in that position. Canelo will never fight him. If it was Andre Ward, <laughs> I would love to see that. Yeah, they said they said Andre can. Uh, I mean, Asa De La Hoya said, "Oh, we'll fight. We'll fight." Um, they said they'll fight Andre Ward. If he cuts yeah, all the right. way back down to 168, you want him to cut down that dude walking around the 210. He's been walking around the 210 since he stopped fighting. But you want him to cut to 160. He, he's not, he's fucking muscle, man. He's 168 of muscle. That'll be a horrible cut for him, man. It's not like he cutting, he cutting water, he cutting muscle. Andre Ward, Andre Ward, 5'10. Um, he's five. He's he's five foot ten, two hundred and ten pounds. That's not a good cut. <laughs> no, I'm serious. He, if he was anything, and he yeah. had been fighting at one seventy five, his body grew into a, a light heavyweight man. I the fact I, that, I, the fact that, he to me, he didn't even look bad. He didn't look crazy big at one seventy five either. You better just nah, but it's, you said he looked better. He 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 he's, no, he's, he's clearly no, he's clearly big now, man. I've no, seen. I nah, I could tell that maybe what you're saying is true because yeah. I'm saying I'm saying when he was at 175, right. he didn't look big to me. <laughs> he looked like he was supposed to be there, especially around the time he got ready to fight Kovalev. Right. So but I was, I, I was I, looking. Yeah, that's, that's how I know that you're in line. What you're saying, he probably do like off camp. He probably was getting like I want to say when he had that layoff and had that surgery, he probably was about like. But that's why Oscar said, "We'll fight you at one sixty eight. They're like, "Look at that fuck shit." I said, "I said that's that's that was clearly some fuck shit talking about one sixty eight. Man, this nigga ain't fought at one sixty eight in a while. He had fought Kovalev. This dude that had four fights at one sixty eight. I mean at one seventy five. Why the fuck would he go back down there when he's walking around at two ten? Oh, because they want they want they want an advantage." They always won an advantage. They always wanted to. Canelo wanted to. Canelo wanted to do um, a catch weight. He wanted to do, it, but the WO said no. That's a and Bob Arum move. That I was a Bob. Those times that I was Bob Arum. Bob Arum. Bob Arum went in there and said no. That was Bob Arum going in there on their behalf. We're like, nah, that ain't happening. I <laughs> love those times when Andre Ward was coming back, man. Shoot, he had the Curries at the game. And the other pl- and the other players on the Warriors, man. Warriors. Yeah, he had yeah, Andre Ward. Andre Ward did a good job of having the whole bay, man. He had uh Raiders, he had Niners, he had um Giants. Yeah, he had he had the whole like all the Bay Area team. He had some of these Sharks players there. I'm serious, man. He had he Andre Ward had the um had the whole bay behind him, man. No joke. Yeah, mm. and that dude literally had the whole bay. And that's what that was so dope about his fights. You go in there and you're gonna see Raiders, you're gonna see Oakland A's, you're gonna see 49ers, you're gonna see San Francisco Giants, you're gonna see San Jose Sharks, 
You even see the Sacramento, some of the Sacramento Kings that came from outside of the Bay Area. Uh, you see them. I remember I had, I, tell old, I, remember I had an Oakland A's hat. Uh, my friend took it. <clears throat> nigga, nigga, nigga messed the shit up. I let him borrow it. See, that's when I was a young nigga letting letting your friends borrow your clothes. Yeah. I, I was mad, man. I was, I was a nice fitty, man. <laughs> Man, it's probably hard to get open haze hats now out there. More than like now. Nah, you know, come on, man. You know we got a spot that is like a house for fitteds. You know what I'm saying? That just got every fucking fitted you could imagine. Shit, nigga. I, I had a holiday. Shoot, you matter of fact, hold on, I'm gonna show you something. Man, they don't see they got it's different up here, man. They don't even sell like only time they sell Dodger shit. They don't sell like the the Dodger uh, Nike shit. Like I'm not a Dodger fan, but I like Dodger gear, man. I think Dodger get Dodger got some of the dopest colors. Even, I'm a big time Oakland A's fan, but I like I love Dodger gear, man. So that's why you'll see me with yeah, the like, Dodger I know hat. You can appreciate Dodger this. Fan, but I'm not. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's that, Kelly? Oh, that's the classic Warriors hat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what? Actually, it's the, it's the that's the that's the horrible days Warrior hat, man. Outside of that, we believe year. That shit that was <laughs> terrible. J, that that was the <laughs> I fucking hated that uniform, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I hated it. They are days. Yeah, I hated that. I hated when they had that orange shit up. Now they get that shit up out of there. I'm glad they went back to the to the original colors, man. I like nah, it better than this. This shit was tough. That shit was I'll be wearing these with my rust color Tims. Bro, I hate I hated that shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I hated it when they had when they changed when they changed the uniform. I like the old old back old throwbacks and shit, bro. Like when they went back to the original, like the original colors, man. I, I like that better, man. My my favorite one was the old um like the old the old San Francisco Warrior jerseys are the dopest to me. Those city jerseys, man, or the fucking cleanest. The ones were like, I think, for like sixty-seven. Yeah, them motherfuckers yeah, those are dope. That shit, that's a Those are the dope ones. But them motherfuckers right there, are ugly. Them things are ugly as hell to me, bro. Never been a fan of those. <laughs> never. That's it, man. And it's this just me. This is that's never my taste. And it, and that, it, and that's a situation. I was young then too. Uh, that was like um, that was around like the old now. That was around when Jason Richardson came in. That's why I said the JR. Again. Yeah, yeah. Even even then, to James, you know, that's why James. So like, I think they they changed, put added that shit like in nineteen ninety nine or something like that. Um, they were that's that's when they introduced them ugly fucking uniforms, man. Like around that time, man. Oh no, I think they came in ninety seven. I think they're from like ninety seven to about um two thousand eleven or ten or whatever, something like that. They had some ugly ass fucking uniform. I'm like when they got rid of those, I was like, thank God. Man, get rid of that shit, man. Uh, I mean, I was happy to see they went back to the old throw, throwback. I remember they were wearing the throwbacks. I'm like, man, can we have these back, please? Can we please keep the throwbacks? It's like I like the A's. I like the old Oakland A's the throwbacks, the throwback jerseys, man. Them things were all as fuck. If they wore them again, bruh, that's all you're going to see me in. Because, like, like, they have, they, they, they wear them every now and then. The throwback units are clean as fuck, bro. They have hella clean. I ain't joking you, man. The throwbacks are nice. Them, them, them some of the nicest uniforms. Go look up like on the, the throwbacks where they got the um, I forgot what it's like. Um, the lighter green. It's like a a lighter green, uh, but a different color. Uh, yellow. I'm telling you, them things, them things are wet. Them things are wet, bro. Them things are wet, bro. Ain't, ain't no joke, bro. Them things are wet. Let me see. Throw back that old. And I think like the 72, 72, or was it like, let me see, 67, Oakland A uniform. Let me see if they what the motherfuckers look like. Yeah, those are clean right there, man. No things are clean. Let me see. We gonna, we, shoot, I'm going to have to bring you on when we do a throwbacks. You see yeah, the throwback in some of the uh, Oakland. I'm gonna have to bring you, you and Abel. I'm gonna have to definitely make sure Abel is on that one too. Yeah, so I, I like, so I like some of the old baseball uniforms, shit like that, man. Um, I'm about to get uh my, well, my girl's gonna buy that. 
my my, my Daryl Strawberries '88 Orange Mets jersey right there. Right. She laughed. <laughs> For the baby shower, right? I'm gonna be right. fly. That's the '88 one too. Y'all know about that. The Mets one, the orange one, the orange, uh, white and my fault. The green, orange and white. This is mostly green, orange and white. Watch, look, look at this, bro. Look at these CDs. Look at those throwback uniforms, bro. I fucks with them motherfuckers tough. I'm gonna get right over the A's one, and then I'm, I'm gonna have you mad, Kelly. <laughs> and this right here, bro. Like this throwback that they had brought back. This throwback right here. Look at that shit, bro. Tell me that uniform ain't clean, bro. You see that act? Act. Act. You went away, bro? <laughs> now, act. You see that? That's me. I don't know where he went. That's a oh I thought that was a baseball card. Yeah, there. baseball. You see that? You see that uniform right there? Yeah. No, I thought that it was a baseball card. I said. No, nah, that was it. I'm just showing the picture. But I'm saying that uniform right there is clean as fuck, bro. And then I like this one too. And that one New York, too. Like in New York Giants uniform. Look at that again. shit. Look at that shit right there, bro. See them things right there were wet for me, bro. I like those. I say I like shit like that, bro. Those are those are the best unis, bro. This one and and on oh no, and this one too. Let me show you one more. I know you like that hat, sir. Look at look look look. Cali don't even oh, see yeah, what I'm wearing. I see it. That's my team. Cali, you ain't paying attention. That's Callie. my team. That's my you team. You don't even see. You don't even see what I'm wearing. Yeah, that's my team. I see that's that's my team. Oakland Raiders. Who your favorite wide receiver, Randy Moss, Cali? No. Uh, Tim Brown. No. Tim Brown was. Well, I mean, I don't. I, don't, I mean, he, 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 he. I mean, he a coon. He a coon. Tim Brown because he was he was doing some bug nasty man. That was shameful. Um, seeing him outside off the football field, man. After he retired and shit, but he a bug dancer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but Tim Brown was. Uh, Tim Brown. Tim Brown and Cliff Branch. Oh, I met rest in peace to Cliff Branch. Also a good dude. He was also a great receiver too, man. Uh, guys that I got a chance to watch as far as uh, for oh for the Oakland Raiders, man. For Oakland Raiders, man. Nah, Randy Moss wasn't my favorite receiver, man, but he was dope though. He was definitely dope from you know what I mean he went to Florida State and the shit didn't go right and end up in Marshall. Man. <laughs> but it, Randy Moss turned out to be a really good dude, man. Shout out to him. And he ain't no cool. I like that part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he, like he's a rock. conscious dude, bro. He, he stay rocking them corn rolls for the longest. Yeah. yeah. So I like that shit about Randy Moss, man. He don't be doing that bug dancing shit. Hold on a second, you guys. Let's see. When you get back in here, Cali, we're going to get ready to close it out, man. Mm. I'm going to come back tomorrow, though. Oh, hold on a second, Act. Hold on a second before you go. Hold on. But you gonna show me something? Like I said, you you saw, so you seen what I had. Like I said, this is the kind of hats that I like, right here. You seen me? You seen me wear this one before? Let me see. Right here, bro. Like I said, this one. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. Yeah, this motherfucker wet right here. Like I said, I like these. I like the green, like this color green shit, like this man, like the throwback type hats, like that, bro. With the Oakland and shit, like that, representing, bro. So that's what people are like, man. You're a Dodgers fan. I said, no, I just like Dodger gear, buddy. I like Dodger gear. Dodger gear dope is dope as hell to me. But my favorite team today is the A's got dope ass shit when they when they wear like throwbacks. I'm trying to get that shirt match this t shirt. Man, like, let me see. Oh. <laughs> man, I'm gonna tell you the dopest Dodger gear. Nah, it's gonna be in, in it's, LA, bro. It's what I got. It's what I got from Harlem, day, You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I'm saying y'all like that. Yeah. You, know you got these that rivers in Harlem. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Y'all see it. it says 125th, 70 soul funk. I like. That. Wow. That's dope. 80s. 
Is that a 70s. brand? No, nah, it's not a brand. They just, you know, you know how they be on the side and they be selling T-shirts at like, you know, what I mean, like street fair. Like I was talking that. about. I was talking about the T-shirt. Oh, what? What'd you say? Yeah, that's what yeah. they be doing basically in San Francisco on Market Street, bro, when everybody's trying to sell you shit. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's yeah. basically what happened. Yeah, I tell you that. <laughs> Yeah, like San Francisco is the um, I would say San Francisco like the closest city like New York, um, the closest city like New York, San Francisco. You would like San Francisco, man. I think you would. A lot of hills though. It's a very hilly city, man. You, I ain't gonna lie. It is not see, flat. See, I know it my is. boy ain't watching this. She sleeps, so I can say this. I just need a Hawaiian cow. <laughs> <laughs> I need, I need, I need something like Faith real quick. Faith. That's it. I just need. Oh, it. it's Ak. I ain't seen that picture on the tree. Oh, uh, I did. No, you did. You texted me that. Not, not Ak. I meant to say Ak. I meant to say. I'm um, sorry, man. Battle rifle. Battle nah, rifle. Don't show battle rifle. Shit. Don't show <laughs> battle rifle. Right? Shit. What, what you battle mean? Battle rifle don't need to see shit. <laughs> I need to, I don't need see shit, Cali. <laughs> that's, that's all me right there. Yeah, I, I stepped I, out the way. When man, I went to strap, it. when I went to strap, that that's mm-hmm. my that's my side piece. All right. <laughs> oh man, you want your battle rifle? Battle rifle right. 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 just told me you said you're gonna take. And I ain't sharing that one. That ain't hey, one that hey, I. Act, I battle rifle said he won. Hey, battle rifle, right, act, battle rifle said he won to spar you for. <laughs> I don't give a damn. That's his funeral. That's his funeral. <laughs> he, gonna, he, gonna get, he gonna get a pothole in his face like Devin Haney opponent. For her, for her, I do it. You got motivation, huh? Yeah. You, you got your Lilo act. I ain't gonna lie, but I wouldn't even go that hard normally. Like if it was like a, a regular trick, you know what I mean? But that one, nah, man. I ain't gonna fry. I ain't never had no Hawaii or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got that over here in my side. You got your Alilo? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, there you go. You know what I'm talking about. I need something. Yeah. We ain't got we don't got that over here in New York. We don't got Are we talking about Polynesians or we got a plenty here. Yeah, we ain't got that over every day. Here. Yeah, we ain't got that. <laughs> yeah, so that's what it kept on the West Coast, man. That's where you see a bunch of Polynesians. I know Texas said it's starting to seem more, but I said it's still not like us, like the city of Carson, man. So you're gonna see just a bunch, you're gonna see a bunch of Samoans. That's yeah, why so I, wanna, that, I, I, I honestly want to come out there first, and then I want you to come to New York. Yeah. I, I wanted to I hope it goes like that to where I come to like California first. Oh, Frisco, man. You come to Frisco, you're gonna see a bunch of Samoans but too, I, bro. I, 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 yeah, I want to I want you to take me over there though. I want to go. No, so we gotta be careful where we go in San Francisco though, bro. You understand, right? Oh, okay, 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 Callie. I'm sorry. No, I'm no, just... no, it's no, but it's other. No, San Francisco's cool, though, bro. Don't 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 get it twisted, bro. We just know that not to go to the Castro District. That's all. We just, we just avoid that area. That ain't for us. <laughs> no, you know, uh, you know, you know. You, you, like, I know what you act, mean. Act, you know, before you reach it, you go first. Thing you're gonna see is the um, because there's rainbow flags everywhere. Oh, so you'll know before you. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's like 10th Street and all of that by the village. It's nah, 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 man. Yeah, we, we know, we know, we know the steer clear from that. We know the steer clear like, from that. He said, "We know the steer clear from that." Oh yeah, I heard. So y'all know it's no. You mean like LG stuff? No, you go to like you go to you got to go to like Powell Street and stuff like that, man. Um, to go have a good time. Powell Street, they got um, um, O'Fell. Like I said, these are all like all the clubs and stuff. Like San Francisco's crazy, man. You you enjoy cause San Francisco outside of man. If you walk through San Francisco, I gotta tell you, man. If you live in San Francisco and you got to walk through San Francisco every day, you're going to lose weight immediately because it is hills on top of hills on top of hills, man. I'm not joking, man. It's hills yeah. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, like see, you go to the stop expensive. sign sitting on a hill. Like don't be in the clutch, man. The clutch that don't work good. Down. If you got a clutch vehicle, you got a vehicle with a clutch and then, and, then, and your clutch going out, you better hope your emergency brake work. <laughs> I'm telling right now, that shit ugly. We got the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, that's that shit. Uh, that shit ugly. That is ugly for you, bro. So I'm just gonna tell you that straight up. It's <laughs> ugly for you. You go to San Francisco, but you you gonna like it. I will tell you, you gonna have a lot of fun though. You gonna have a lot of fun. But good thing about Frisco, you know what I'm saying? You got the you got the bar train. That's basically subway. You know what I'm saying? And that's gonna take you to where you need to get to. So, um, you know, you you'll have a good time, man. Um, you got to take um. You got to get off at um, what do they think it's Civic Center now to go to San to go to um, 
to the Warriors game now. So you got to get off of Civic Center to go to the Warriors game now. So you can get down to the, like basically like the China Basin and stuff like that, man. It's just fun, though, man. It's, it's a lot to do out that way, man. You get out to the China Basin. You go over to, like I said, over to the uh, Gary. You go over to Ophel. Uh, like I said, San Francisco is dope, bro. You're going to love it except parking. Man. We don't even drive there, man. It's wasting your time, man. Parking's a bitch. You got to pay for parking everywhere, man. Ain't no free parking in San Francisco, bro. Forget it. Yeah, everything's paid parking, bro. You know, ain't no free parking. Ain't no free parking unless you unless you unless you live there and you got your house at, at one of those places. And then you got to drive down into your driveway because San Francisco's all hills. Like I tell you, man, for real, you got to drive down into your driveway because San Francisco's all hills. That's how San Francisco is. So, um, yeah, man, it's crazy, man. I'm telling you, but you like San Francisco. You first thing you gonna look, you like Cali one line. This shit really all hills. It's really all hills. And if anybody, I don't know if anybody in the chat ever been there, they're going to tell you that San Francisco is all hills. Um, you got and Oakland is different because you got the flats and then you got the, um, the Oakland Hills, man. So if you're coming on 98 Avenue, if you come on 580, you got to go down the hill. So you got to drive down a hill to get to the flats, <laughs> to get to like 98 Avenue, shit like that where I'm at. So you got to drive down the hill. If you take 5, you take 880, you just get straight. So I'm in the flats. But man, Oakland is a lot of hills too, just depending on which side of the which side of the city you on. <laughs> but it's a lot of hills too, but not like Frisco. Frisco is all hills, all hills until you like get to like South Beach and shit like that. You get over to the beach, which you don't want to go to that beach because the fucking beach is cold. So, <laughs> but but Frisco's Frisco's a dope ass place, man. I'm telling you, you guys would like Frisco, man. A lot to do, a lot of badass chicks out there, man. Uh, the, the clubs, are, the clubs are cool, bro. I'm telling you, like it, man. You like it. There's clubs and bars everywhere in Frisco, man. Lots of shit to do. There's always something to do every I'm weekend not, in Frisco. I, I don't really party and stuff like that in my yeah. normal life. I only do it like you know if I link up with you and like you know the. No, I ain't going stuff. to no club, bro. I'm 41. What the fuck? I'm gonna go to some club for for you. <laughs> I, mean, I, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would make sure that you got with somebody closer to your age. <laughs> uh, so you can go out with them, so because man, I, I don't need to be there with you, bro. That, that looks. I'm not gonna be Floyd. I'm not being the old man in the club. I always stayed at that. Nah, we ain't um, even gotta do that, Cali. We could do something else, bro. Yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. gotta go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shoot, we could go to the shoot. Are you I too think. old? You too old to go to the booty club? So you I think, boy, I, 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 go to my, the club. I, 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 the a, my my girl take me take me to the club, man. You gonna be taken to that club? Then we all go right. together. All right, cool. Mm. Yeah, she sit there, give me lap dances, she get one too. So <laughs> <laughs> a lot of girls like doing that, man. Going to the uh going to the strip club though. So she get one. She like big booty in her face too, so I do too. I said, all right, get one of the lap dancing right next to each other. All right. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Battle rifle like what? <laughs> I said, yeah, man, that shit the, that shit is the shit. I remember the first time a girl was like I said, I said, I said I, this is a joke, right? I already know. I already know. If we all end up linking up, Battle Rifle going to be missing like Hangover. Battle <laughs> Rifle going to be the one. That battle Rifle going to get wasted. What's that battle, battle, that rifle gonna, battle, battle Rifle going to end up over there in the cash edition. I'm just playing. <laughs> what type of stuff do you think I'll be doing when I'm drunk? <laughs> I tell you, I said, battle Rifle, don't go to the cash though. <laughs> now you just seem like one of the ones that be like living it up, man. You just seem like when you, you know you you reserved, but when you at a party, you seem like you know what I mean. A lot of shit is built up, so you got a party. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of dudes like that that don't party like that. So when they do party, it, it, it's crazy. I never got drunk before. Oh, you ne never have? Uh uh. For real? Yeah. Maybe I. You know what? I believe you. The way you be talking and stuff, bad or right? Now, Maybe you don't be having a good time. <laughs> so what do you do, hookah? <laughs> what mean, do you do, hookah? I mean, sometimes, but... Oh, okay. really. I, I should have knew you was a hookah guy. What, what? Now, I mean, not that often. Now, you're not a weed dude, is you? What is you? You a roster? I mean, you a roster? Yeah, I knew it! <laughs> you ain't a drinker, but you a roster. That's why you want to go to Cali. <laughs> I, I really don't do that messed up. I just like if like if people have it, then I'm gonna do it. Like, but I don't usually go out my way to like 
do oh, that type of stuff. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I get you. I get you. Uh, it, you, it's, you it's so, you're sociable. You're what they call yeah, like, sociable. It, it, usually, like, uh, I'm, I'm the type right, of person. Right, That's what they call that. <laughs> sociable. <laughs> like, yeah. only do drugs or alcohol when, you know, you would agree. I, 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 I never did drugs, man. And, and there's times I'm not, not saying I'm not, I'm not saying you, Cali. I'm just yeah. saying. Well, yeah, but I, I just say I, I never, I never. So a lot of times I didn't drink. I was like, I'll be the driver. You, 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 I ain't gotta worry. I got you. I said, I'm, yeah, I don't I'm, really like. I'm not. I'm not really. I don't really I, like drink, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm the type of person like only drink. going out. Only thing I, I do drink occasionally is champagne, and that's only when I'm I'm a sociable type of dude too. Right. So that's mm-hmm. the only time I really like. You know what I mean? It'll have to be. But I, I wouldn't do it like around this time because I got like three fights on up. So I, you probably would have to get with me to have a good time. Like I want to say after November, like December, around the holidays. Right. You know what I mean? To really have a good time with you. All right. I feel like I'm going to have to do it. Right gonna drink so don't, don't come with me. This is the people in the chat. Don't yeah, drink the 1738. Drink the Patron. Drink the Hennessy. No, if you don't have a bottle of Moet, don't talk to me. I, I, I'm, first thing I'm gonna tell you, something, man. If you go to our clubs, you gonna first thing you gonna understand is that all the stuff you used to hearing down south or back east, you'll hear a little bit of that. But the main music you gonna hear when people gonna go crazy is shit out the bay, bro. I'm gonna tell you straight up, bro. When the music, when it come in the music, it's gonna be shit out the bay. That's what you gonna hear. That's what you gonna see people really stand up, bro. People love the local shit around here, bro. And even though the radios don't play it, this is the radios don't play it, but when you go to the club, you know it? That, that, that they like that Arsenal battled out there. Fabulous, fast. Yeah, Ar- he said, uh, he said Arsenal. Like yeah. yeah, Arsenal uh, battled him. And he said the way oh, he Mr. was. Fab, yeah, Arsenal won, yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm going to tell you one of the dope. I heard though there. that he's that dude that yeah. Arsenal battled, though. I heard in Oakland he liked the biggie though. That dude, that dude, that dude, that dude, no joke, Mr. Fab, man. He got uh, all kind of, he got a store. He got a store called Dope Air, bro. He got a store called Dope Air out there. Cassidy is not that compared to he even said it. He gave Mr. Fab credit. He said Cassidy is not that to Philly. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Now you gotta check out, but then he got a he got a store called Dope Air, bro. Like you Man, gotta really check I've it out. I've never seen that battle with Arsenal. I'm gonna look it up. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you what the store look like, uh, Mr. Fab. You got a store a store called Dope Air, bro. I think you might want to look check out some of the clothes there, bro. Yeah, I probably I probably would have been there if we would have. Nah, it's a thing. If you come out this way, you, you got to come here. So, Man, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show you this. Um, yeah. This one of the fits. Shout out to Devin Haney, though. Yeah, shout out to him, man. At that we got to get, get Devin Haney Gucci. in the dope air. Yo, that, that, yo. I like that. I, I, I was I, I was really feeling Devin Haney's fit, man, tonight. He did had the Gucci Dapper Dan custom made. Like, that was one of the flyest boxing outfits I done seen. I ain't going to lie. I got to give it to Devin Haney. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Devin Haney, man. That's the homie, man. They always say, if you look good, you fight good. <laughs> and he broke the nigga face. He put a pothole in his face. I thought oh. it was his nose. They say he broke his cheekbone. Y'all think he's gonna beat? Y'all think he's gonna beat Lomachenko? <laughs> Hell yeah, he gonna put a pothole in Lomachenko. Lomachenko's talk about moving down. Mm. This nigga Lomachenko is puss. Yeah, if he, uh, if he moved down, man, without fighting um, Tank or uh, uh, Devin Haney, man, he yeah, I'm, I'm, he gonna catch hell for me. We should absolutely destroy him at that point. Yeah, I don't want to hear no white Jesus nothing. See, no. see, and I was telling y'all Check about. Out, bro. I told y'all about Lomachenko. But, hey, he, ain't, he ain't even duck on the face yet. They, you can't say that yet. Yeah, hey, you right. You right. Story. That's I'm a story. Telling you, oh, that oh that's it what's it called? Dope era? Oh dope yeah. era. That's all yep. black on, bro. Black on. Devontae Davis made me mad because he didn't fight Birch up, man. 
So yeah, you gotta come. So you gotta come. Oh out yeah, here, Bertel man. about to fight my nigga Jason Sosa. Jason Sosa about to get that title shot. Jason Sosa gonna get his ass whooped. <laughs> that dude, that dude, oh, he garbage to me, bro. <laughs> man, Bert, yeah, Bert Shell, actually, Bert Shell is a good fighter. But Burchell is, is a top notch fighter, actually, and and Jason Sosa gonna get knocked out, in my opinion, probably uh, within six or seven rounds. I got him, but I got him. I stoppage, man. I'm not joking either. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of, of, of Sosa, man. I'm not. He just don't. Whatever, man. He's he's a whatever for me. I, I don't see what the big deal of what what dude is, man. Just just me personally. I think dude is a. Uh, it's, it's that, that was mediocre. My man, my uncle was from Camden too. So he was cool with he was cool with Jason yeah. Sosa. So uh, shout out, like I said, we're doing our thing out here. And I don't know if Nipsey Hussle was big out here. Nipsey Hussle got a big ass mural in Oakland too, man. I don't know if you know about this shit, man. Oh, that's Nipsey the website. That's the yeah, website. Nipsey, Nipsey, Nipsey oh, yes, website. Nipsey Hussle got a. Let me show you this. Let me show you what that mural in Oakland look like, bro. Check this out. So, let me see if I can make it. Now, and open. Let you guys take a look at this big ass mural of Nipsey Hustle, man, in Oakland. Wow. That should look nicer than the one in, in, in Compton. So, mm. <laughs> so that's it, bro. That's the West Coast, man. We said we we really like well, like, we we take we we you know we uh, really big up and salute like our, our legends out here on the West Coast, man. We really salute our legends for real, like people who are doing like big shit, man. Uh, now we got Tupac Day in Oakland, man. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but we you know we actually we got a, we got Tupac Day in Oakland for real. It was like the city. Name it a holiday. Tupac has a holiday in the city of Oakland. That's it's good, though. Tupac Day. Yeah. So, yeah, man. We get like I said, we like really do uh, celebrate. Mac Dre I never, got. Um, I never forget they had this. Uh, uh, they had these like pop up random questions, right? right? And they would walk up to like different like musical artists and ask them uh, certain questions. And then at the end of it, they would win a prize like a T shirt or whatever. So they. They, they ran down on Keisha Cole. So they run down on Keisha Cole and they said, what artist from Oakland has sold the number one uh, rap album of all time? And her dumb ass said somebody, I forgot who she said from Oakland. I think she said MC Hammer or something. No, nah, it was Pac. It was Pac? Had the number yeah. one? Yeah, yeah. Pop yeah. sell more albums than um than uh, Hammer. Not albums. I think it was number one. I think I think it was a single. I think it was a single. That that, that that's that's uh, Mac Dre. That's Mac Dre more Mac Dre mirror in Oakland. Tell you, man, we oh, celebrate shit. ours, bro. You know, oh, you got know what Mac Dre is. Yeah, now yeah. I know what Mac Dre. Was. Yeah, yeah. So like Mac Dre, and then it's the. Uh, let's see what it is. The dude that I always thought was different uh, from Oakland was uh, E Forty. Ready to go? No, go. He, he not. He not from. He actually from Vallejo. Oh, okay. He from Vallejo, man. So we got here's the other one. It's another. But I said we we didn't have this happen so many damn times, man. And then we lost so many damn rappers and shit. But once again, did, did you like ever see what his real name was? Oakland, that's how we celebrate. <laughs> Like we we really do celebrate our artists out right here. I don't know why yeah. this thing don't want to flip, but right here, that's the jacket. That's the homie right there, Dominic Newton. I've known him. I've known him since I was like, well, maybe like 14, 15 years old. He got shot on 94th and Mac. So R.I.P. to Jack, Dominic Newton. And that's it. That shit, man. That shit, that shit was fucked up, man. That shit fucked me up. Yeah, yeah, I knew him for for a long time. Um, R.I.P. to him, man. Salute to the to the mob figures, man. I actually put them up on my uh, Instagram. My figures when they were youngsters, when they were youngsters. I, I don't see no pimps airbrushed out there. I'm waiting to see 
One of them Oakland it's pimps, not, airbrush. Not, yeah, you know I'm saying with the perm. That ain't gonna happen, bro. With a perm. <laughs> Every time I think of pimping, I fucking Oakland. Nah, now nah, pimping, the pimping, the pimp, everybody know pimping was really the real big thing and shit like that, which is still exists and that shit ain't gonna ever die. Pimping ain't never going away. But that's not that's not that's not what's up, what's popping right now, especially with gentr- the city being gentrified, bro. They getting black people up out of there, man. <laughs> um, said East All Oakland, right. East Oakland is Mexican. Damn. So yeah, East Oakland really didn't get into town. Mexican, especially my my old neighborhor like Bernie Park, predominantly Mexican. It used to be a, that was a black neighborhood. Now it's Mexican. Um, same thing happened in the Brookfield Village. White folks even moved to Brookfield Village. White folks have moved it to Seminary, places that you would never see white folks. They they there now. So shit changed. Man, North Oakland then changed. It used to be black neighborhoods and shit like that. That shit white. I mean, white. they took that shit back. That, that, that's what's happening in New York, too, bro. So mm-hmm. I understand. But um, mm-hmm. let's get ready to close this out, brother. It was good having you in, in Battle Rifle on. Battle Rifle, give me your last, brother. Battle Rifle. Uh, last words. Yeah, it's good to see you guys. I haven't, uh, haven't been on in a while. And, um, you know, it's good to talk about stuff with you guys. You know, ask me if you thought, you know, just been busy. And, uh, no, I understand, uh, bro. And, uh, you know, like, look forward to, you know, more stuff like this, man. You know, shout out to Kelly and Nick and uh, X. I know you, you guys have been um, doing your thing on YouTube for a while, and I respect that. So, yeah. All uh, right. Kelly, close this out and give us your last. Oh, man. Like I said, this wasn't fun doing boxing. Um, the last before um before this this week this past this week my last my last little live stream with with baseball actually. <laughs> I was at, uh, I was what you Oakland, did someone in Oakland? Yeah, I did some in Oakland A's. Man, I was at the A's game last Saturday, man. So last Saturday night. So and I mean, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try to. I mean, I'm definitely gonna try to get some more. If they make the playoffs, I definitely gonna try to get to that. Um, but I, I I did a baseball video, which I want to do another one today. They beat the Texas Rangers. Um, yeah, so I want to try to stick to – I'm going to talk about a variety of sports. I love baseball. People were shocked that I knew about baseball. Too. <laughs> it's like you have pitching up and down in the zone, sliders, curveballs, you know, um, especially, man, when, uh, Blake Trainer once again today, uh, inability to, to com- have command. And ability, lack of ability to to to, to locate and hit his spots, he was definitely just missing off of the plate. Uh, he's, he's sitting there, he's throwing this like slur ball, man. It was, it's, it's filthy, but it's not filthy if it's not landing in the strike zone. Or at least it's not tempting. Uh, the, the Texas Rangers hitters were laying off that pitch tonight, and he ended up walking too many dudes. And then he had funny thing is he had got a pop out. He had walked the base loaded, got a pop out. Uh, got a strikeout, then gave up a hit after that. I'm like, but really, dude? I'm like, damn, bro. So you can you keep going off speed. Now you need to throw a fastball because he's definitely sitting on that off speed pitch. He threw it down on his own and he got killed, right? To, uh, he got smacked to, to center field. So he needs to throw. You got to throw a fastball. You've been all off speed the entire time. You got to you gotta be able to throw a fastball right after that. Too. He, he would have been way behind that fastball and you would have had him off balance where he wouldn't have known where you were going to throw after that. He like, what do I sit fastball off speed? So do I spit fastball slur? So he, he couldn't. So he he just because he kept throwing slurs, he just sat on the slur, and he killed it. And it was like this guy, I don't know what Blake Trinum was lights out last year, and this year for whatever reason, man, he's just been off. So he's completely hittable this year, and I think he's lost a lot of confidence. And I think it's a, that's a big deal with him too. But it's all some mechanics, and uh, he's just opening it up too much, which is why he can't. Can't have to hit his spots. Last year he was um, his mechanics was top notch, which is why he was he was unhittable last year. Absolutely unhittable. Him and Lou Trevino, um, man, it's frustrating man to watch. Uh, the, the 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 bullpen sucked this year after they were lights out last year. But that's a whole other subject, man. Mm-hmm. And shout out to the to the local product too, Marcus Simeon, the best um, shortstop in baseball, man. Going yard again tonight, man. Guy was a terrible defender, man. It, Worked on his game and is now the best defensive uh, shortstop in the game and the best overall shortstop in the game. Is he he also hits well too? He hit um, 
I think it is 31st home run tonight. So shout out to uh, Mark Simeon. Shout out to Matt Chapman. Uh, shout out to shout out to Matt Olson as well. Um, I shout out, salute to AJ Puck came in and struck out. Um, they were striking out dudes tonight, tonight, man. The next superstar pitcher coming up. Salute to, um, to Jesus Lazardo, man. I'm, still, I'm, I'm juiced about the A's team in the future, man. Just wanted to throw that out there, man. Thanks for letting me come on, Act, man. I appreciate it, brother. No problem, bro. No problem. Uh, appreciate Cali. Appreciate uh, Battle Rifle. Uh, appreciate both uh, those brothers. And also appreciate my brother, Drew Titan, for coming on. Um, look out for me tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be doing something tomorrow. I'm not sure what the topic is going to be. I was supposed to be doing the sneakers topic, but I forgot Devin Haney was fighting on Friday. So uh yeah, so we gonna we gonna oh oh sorry, battle rap uh battle rap tomorrow, battle rap tomorrow. And then at night I'm gonna do two streams. Then at night uh we gonna uh do possibly boxing or something. But yeah, at two PM we're gonna be talking about battle rap because there's a lot of interesting things going on with battle rap. Hopefully I can get somebody uh to talk some battle rap with me, man. Uh it's your boy Act Breacher. Uh, with another episode of the Jazz Jamboree, uh, produced by the LDBC, executive produced by the Full Berserker Clan. I never see you wrong, and we out. Go.